Hey everyone, welcome back to 5 tips and tricks in Houdini part 2. So let's quickly start with tip number 1. Triangle warp parameter. And to show you that, I'll use attribute triangle. I will create some attribute parameters. So here I'll create channel also. And now you can see here that I can make changes over here. But sometimes you can see I have to scroll it up to edit this wax here. And if I have lots of attributes, then it's a bit tricky to manage these things. So for that, I use this technique. Let's go over here, over this gear icon and edit parameter interface. I have these two folders. I'll select these both folders and I will make them collapsible. I'll keep the second folder inside code. Right. So let me apply and accept. Now you can see here that I can write wax over here and I can collapse this as well. And you don't have to do this every time. You can save this as a preset. So let me save this as channels. Save preset. So whenever you take attribute triangle, so you can use these channels and it will save some time. And here I can write this wax. And also it will create float ramp. I need color ramp. So for that I'll write vector over here. Let's create channels. And now you can minimize this and now you can just edit this. Right. And if you want to edit packs, you can click over here and you can just easily man manage all those things. It's really helpful when you have like multiple attribute triangles and it's easy to manage those things. Tip number two is camera cropping. Right, so keep those particles only visible in camera. So I'll just delete this area and this area as well. It will save lots of data and let's see how we can do that. For that, I'll need a group as its points. I'll use points over here. I will disable this and I have a bounding volume option over here. So what I can do here, so I'll just create a volume from camera. I will use that here to group those particles. So let's see. So for that, I will use this volume. And I have that option over here, volume from camera. So let me select that camera over here. And I can edit this near and far depth. So I'll just use 10 and make sure you use this as a SDF, right? So let me connect this over here. And let's rename this dollar OS. Still, it's not creating a group, so I, I have to increase this IOS surface a little bit, right? So now you can see here it's working, and I'll just use blast and I can remove these things, right? And I can use this ISO surface as a overscan in case if you want to capture more area, and it will save lots of data. And one more tip, you can use this in simulation as well. So let's see how we can use this. Points. Yes. So it's working over here. And I want to kill those particles. For that, I will use pop kill. I will enable this. I need volume. Let's select this, copy and paste over here. And here also we have to make the same thing and invert. Right. So now you can see here. So it will delete those particles which is going out of camera. And it will optimize lots of simulation time. As well. And you can use this in flip solver as well. Avoid animation. And here I want to mention avoid basic animation. Like so if you want to animate this sphere to hit this wall or something right so here you can use some simple wax function to do that and it's really easy to control and do remember this value over here i need minus three and plus three so for that i will use this fit here i have to mention a frame range from frame number five to frame number 15 and here i will mention value minus three plus three so let's close this and just check this. It's working, right? 
so every time you can you don't have to shift any keyframe or something you can just put this over here and the best advantage of this you can create parameters as controllers and i will make this invisible right so first i need frames and second i want to use this value and if I go over here, I need integer and I have that option to make this min and max, right? The same thing I will do over here also, but I need this as a float min and max, right? So I have this two value. So I'll just copy this, paste over here. Right, so here if I mention from 5 to 30, it should grow from minus 3 to plus 3. And yeah, so it will work that. And here I can just quickly change this. So this is useful in if you are creating OT or something, then if you want to promote these things. And here you can just quickly run some basic animation where you don't want to use that animation editor or something. And you can use this technique. And fourth one is very basic but useful delete and check and here i have a really basic example i have this flip simulation and most of us has experience it takes lots of cooking time guess this entire mess to check those if we are facing jitter or not in some areas or something right and for that if you want to make this real quick then you can use this technique so i'll just i'll find some interesting area over here and I'll press T. So I'll just find out the position of that point. I'll copy this, delete. And here I will use delete node. I will create bound inward, right? So now you can see here, it's really simple to check this. And I can increase even more. And I can make changes to these parameters and you can see here that I have really fast output. Let me make this 50 or something where I can quickly test those if I'm facing jitter or not, if I'm getting proper quality or not. So this is something useful. If you cook this entire mess and let's check this, how much time it will take. Right, so it's take lots of time to do that and so it was just basics and you can use this in many ways and last tip is scatter and here i want to create a curve trail from this character right for that i will scatter some points over this let's take 30 and i will use trail let's use 10 and now you can see it's working yeah i think it's viewport error so let's just quickly change this yeah it's working right so here i will use this add node to create a trail and i have this by group option and here i can mention some attributes so here we, we are making 10 copies of those particles and you can see here it's 300 points right so if we have like same attribute on each point it will connect this here and we can use id or something but here i will use this connectivity to connect those and let me just use this yeah we are getting some weird result so let's find out why so here you can check here if i check every time it's changing its position 
so when we are creating copies of each frame is shifting its position that's why it's not able to create proper curve from this head right so how do we fix it and to fix this we have to freeze this and then we have to scatter until here it's fine and what we can do we can we have to point deform these points with character and for that so we have this interesting node attribute interpolate so let's use this and it's asking for two geometry destination geometry and second is source of attribute interpolate so here i will just connect these two and it's giving me some error right so it's searching for these attributes so how we how do we get these attributes on this here so if i select the scatter if i go to output attributes i have these two attributes so i have to just enable this so what it will do it will create source frame and source frame uv and attribute interpolate read those these attributes to deform it right so when i connect this thing it will work perfectly fine and in fact i can increase this even more and this is something very useful right so hope you like this all these tips and tricks and see you next time